Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Scarland here bringing you a new Neverwinter video, and as the title suggests, we're going to be opening some Nox boxes today, baby. Uh, now, I did do a review video on it a few days ago. Make sure you watch it. So, let's go ahead and jump into this. So, first of all, we're going to navigate over to the Wondrous Bazaar. Remember, you can get three of these via the promissory note, and then we should be able to buy five of these for raw AD. Now, of course, VIP 12, you get the 25% off. It knocks it down to 30K. So let's go ahead and buy five of these. So you have to buy them individually. So there's one. Okay. Well, it did not let us buy five of them. So that's a bug, apparently. Uh, you're supposed to be able to buy a maximum of five, but I guess we were only able to obtain one. Let's see if we can get all three with the promissory notes. And apparently that's also broke, I guess. So that needs fixed as well. GG. So we got two of them. You're supposed to be able to get three with promissory notes. You're supposed to be able to buy five of them. Uh, now these are account bound ones. So let's go over to the Zen market and spend a bunch of Zen. Now you can see I myself have a bunch of Zen. Do not do this, right? Uh, as I explained in the video, uh, we did the math and everything. You know, you get 10 boxes for 525 uh, with the 30% discount that's currently going on. If you're watching this video in the future with no discount, you'll have to pay full price. So if we look at the top tier rewards, you have to open 150 of them. Again, this is on Xbox prices. It just makes logical sense to buy it for 3 million. There's no reason to buy 150 of these for essentially double the price. Uh, 6 million AD value. Uh, I think it was almost 7,900 Zen, which is $79. Again, almost 6 million AD with a maxed out AD price. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, you can simply just buy these from other players for literally half the price. However, for purpose of the video, we love to waste resources and money. So we're going to buy uh, 15 of these. We're going to spend the almost 8,000 Zen because I do have a lot of Zen uh, and I love you guys, so we're going to open these for purposes of the video. So, and there you go. That's how you waste a bunch of money. So, 150, we're going to be guaranteed to get that Nox's Choice Pack. Now, what we're hoping is, is that we actually hit something else decent to make up for the money that I just wasted. Um, again, the math on Xbox, you could just buy the Choice Pack for half the price of that I just spent on this. So, we're going to save the account bound ones. We'll put our promising notes down. That's clearly broken. So we're going to spam open these and see what ultimately happens here. So here we go, folks. So rewards. Can we just spam these? I think we can spam them, right? So enjoy the video because we're just going to go through these and ultimately uh, see what we get here. Maybe we'll get lucky and pull a big boy so we can get some of our money back. <clears throat> so there is the 10 threshold and we ended up pulling a blue mount. Now, you can get any uh, tier mount. You can get all the way up to a mythic mount. We, unfortunately, did not get lucky. <clears throat> we did get a companion here. Trade bars, it looks like. More mount tokens. Prez wards. Uh, okay, well, apparently you can get vouchers. Did not realize you can actually get vouchers. Uh, is that even listed? Oh, yeah. Well, 1 in 20 chance of a stronghold voucher. I didn't even realize you could get vouchers. Well, GG for that. All right. So we did pull an epic insignia. What's the threshold? So that's a 1 in 40 chance on getting an epic insignia. Is it worth any money? Is it going to help our cause? No, not at all. But at least it has a 1 in 40 chance. So we did, did get something somewhat decent. Alright, so it looks like we got another blue mount. 
Uh, we're coming up on the 25 threshold, which will be a random companion. All right, so we got an Epic Caller Choice Pack. That'll help the cause a little bit as far as monetary, uh, you know, monetary goes. Coming up on the 24, so we got another companion. Now, that's not the 25, so we should get another companion next. Oh, and there we go. We actually pulled a Legendary on our 25. Now, these Legendary skins aren't worth a whole bit. The boar is epic. The boar is going to help our monetary value, so that's not horrible. Now, the boar, again, was a guaranteed reward at 25. It could have been up to a Mythic. We ended up getting an epic. Now, these should all be unbound, right? Even the uh, overloads are unbound. Yeah, everything's unbound, so we're good to go. So we're making some money here. Now, whether or not we're going to break even, well, we'll have to see. We got back-to-back -back legendary keys. We got another companion, unfortunately green. More trade bars. Uh, we got another mount skin, a giant crab. So, you know... I'm actually impressed with these boxes, as I said in the earlier video. It's really nice that these overloads are unbound. This is the first time in-game that you will be able to sell these overloads. These overloads only come from the events, and they're always account-bound. These are the first times that these are going to be unbound. Now, some of them are going to be, obviously, subpar. However, if you get lucky and get some Rage of Flames with the total damage, yeah, these probably are selling for, you know, at least a decent amount. Let's continue. Some Genie's Gifts. Another Epic Caller. Again, that helps the monetary value. Remember, our target goal is we need to make at least 6 million AD out of this. We, we have 6 million AD invested by buying 150 boxes. Some more vouchers, tokens, more Prez Wards, more Prez Wards. We're coming up to that 50 threshold. Again, we just pulled a third caller pack. Not bad. Will help the cause. Uh, a cell sword, another companion. Another companion. Which apparently I didn't even have the Renegade Invoker. So, uh, Genie's Gifts in the background there. Oh, there we go. We pulled a Quickling. I don't know the current prices on Quicklings, but, you know, a Quickling should be worth some monetary value there. More overloads. Another. Another color pack. That's not bad. You know, Epic Colors on Xbox go for about, you know, 500 to 800k. So, we've pulled four of those already. So, we may actually turn a profit out of the six million investment a fire archon a medium tiger mount more overloads a uncommon worthless companion <laughs> uh, so one more and we're guaranteed the 50 companion tokens bada bing there you can see at the bottom the bonus reward Another epic color choice pack. So now we're, oh, I mean, we're almost at, uh, you know, four, 4.5 million just in epic color packs. So we're probably going to end up turning a profit here, guys, to be honest. Six million AD investment. Uh, we're probably going to end up turning a profit, to be honest. More vouchers, trade bars, another stone of health, trade bars. Uh, more vouchers, another stone of health, more overloads. Still haven't hit anything super significant yet. We're coming up uh, almost to the 100 threshold, which is the guaranteed 1,000 trade bars. Uh, giant Beetle Epic Mount Skin. So there we go. We hit another mount, a blue mount, but we were guaranteed the 1,000 trade bars. So we have 50 of these left. Uh, you know, an epic insignia, more genies gifts, more vouchers, more vouchers, more vouchers. Okay, there we go. So now we hit a legendary insignia. Uh, 
So the legendary insignia is actually a 1 in 67 chance. That's not bad. So, I mean, kind of useless to me. I'm going to destroy it for powder, personally, so it has no monetary value to me. Uh, but it is a 1 in 67 chance. So, I mean, hey, at least that's probably the best thing we're going to pull out of this, I would imagine. Ion Stone of Radiance. I didn't have one of those either, so we'll go ahead and bind that when we get to it. Uh, another Legendary Insignia. So there you go. That's another 1 in 67 chance. So we did pull two Legendary Insignias. We did pull a Legendary Mount. Uh, a Dancing Blade Companion. We're coming down to 35. And there you go. We pulled another Legendary Mount. Remember, those Legendary Mounts are a 1 in 75 chance. And we did pull two of them so far. So we're most likely going to profit. And there you go, guys. There you go. Uh, a regal insignia of brutality. It's actually a really good insignia. And that's a big boy prize. That's a big boy prize. So we definitely are going to profit out of this. Again, we had a 6 million investment. We're definitely going to make more than 6 million AD after I sell all this junk. Uh, so yeah, Regal Insignia Brutality is a top tier reward. I mean, that's that's number one. That has a 1 in 200 chance, uh, and we did end up, you know, we got lucky and actually did pull one. So, and we actually got a good one. Uh, so the Regal Insignia, again, you know, it's power, uh, critical severity. Um, that's probably going to sell for, you know, a few million, I'm guessing. I mean, let's just look real quick. Purposes of the video. Uh, let's see what Regals are going for. Regal Brutality, just for purposes of the video, just because I'm curious. All right, we're looking for a Brutality here real quick. Again, this is on Xbox. I wasn't going to type the whole thing out. Oh, there's, there's the first one. So, I mean, right there, that Regal Insignia is already 2.5 million of our 6 million investment. By the time I sell everything else as well, remember, we're going to be guaranteed the choice pack, which is going for $3 million. So just the choice pack and this insignia alone, we're going to break even on, and then everything after that is profit. So not too shabby, to be honest. These boxes are, you know, decent. We still have 30 left. We could get lucky and, you know, pull something else. And, uh, shit, there you go, guys. There you go. Uh, we opened 120 and we ended up pulling a Noxus Choice Pack. So now we're looking at major profits now uh, because we're going to end up getting two of these. We're going to be guaranteed one of these and we just pulled an extra one. So that's 3 million AD right there. Another 3 million AD from the guaranteed one we're going to get at the end. Plus the Mythic Insignia is another 2.5. You can already see the profit margin. So, now, we got extremely lucky. You may not get this lucky. Remember, it is all RNG. So, that's a 1 in 150 chance uh, compared to the 1 in 200 chance. And we pulled both of them. So, very good opening. I'm glad I filmed this. Let's go ahead and finish off here just to see what we ultimately get. So, there we go. That's our third legendary mount. And then we did get the guaranteed co-ward at 125. The next guaranteed reward is the pack. So, yeah, we're, we're going to make some substantial money here. And as I'm talking, we just pulled another Mythic Insignia. So now we're probably pushing 10 million, I'm guessing, at this point. Six, six million investment. We're probably going to, you know, make about 10 million AD off of this. Not too shabby, to be honest. Let's see if we get even luckier. I mean, I can't get any luckier than what we already did, but let's see if we can. Let's see if we can pull one more decent thing here real quick. We have about 15 to go. Let's see if we get lucky, guys. Uh, I mean, hey, we'll take it. Uh, bag of holding is a top tier reward. A bag of holding is a 1 in 100 chance. We'll take it. We will take that. So, we've basically hit all the top tier rewards. We hit two Mythic Insignias. We hit a Nox Choice Pack. We hit a Bag of Holding. We've hit three Legendary Mounts. And I believe one or two Legendary Insignias. Uh, so, yeah. We've uh, done pretty well. Pretty well. And there's another Caller Choice Pack. That's six. Six Caller Choice Packs, guys. We're down to the last nitty-gritty here. We're pulling some companions, some more Genie's Gifts, 
Another one. Another epic uh, collar pack. Last four, three, two, and the last one should guarantee us. There it is. Another Nox pack. So, yeah. These, in my opinion, are definitely worth it. You're going to most likely profit. However, if you have bad RNG, bad RNG is bad RNG. I don't know what to tell you. Um, you know, we ended up getting lucky and getting an extra Nox pack. We ended up getting two Mythic Insignias. You know, we got three Legendary Mounts. I mean, we got some pretty decent stuff out of 150. I can't be uh, too upset by that at all. So, we are definitely 100% going to profit off of this. Like I said, it was about a $6 million investment when you factor the about 8,000 Zen that I spent. 8,000 Zen equates to $6 million AD with a maxed out ADX. And we definitely are going to profit off of this. You know, I don't know the exact amount, um, but we're definitely going to profit. I mean, there's no way we don't profit. So, that's the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the opening. Uh... If you're interested in these, I would, you know, maybe open some. See if you have some good RNG. That's completely up to you. Can't tell you how to spend your money. If you enjoyed the video, remember to smash the thumbs up button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them below. That was a 150 of the newest reward box is what they're calling them. That's all I got for you. I'll see you guys in the next one.